shit. China is bidding to invest 80 billion to build a super airport. It looks like an alien base. Once completed, it created six world firsts. Become the first of the new seven wonders of the world. It is Beijing Daxing International Airport. Covers an area of 110 square miles. Equivalent to 3,800 White Houses. 202 routes are open. A total of 54 domestic and foreign airlines operate. There are 268 aircraft seats. It is expected to serve 100 million people every year. Viewed from the air, it looks like a phoenix flying high. Demonstrates the power of China's takeoff. There is not only a subway directly under the airport terminal, there is also high-speed rail. This is the first airport in the world with a high-speed train running underneath it. What's even more powerful is, there are a total of 82 boarding gates here. Passengers can walk from the center of the terminal to any boarding gate in less than 8 minutes. So don't worry about missing the plane. In addition, all supporting facilities at the airport adopt artificial intelligence passenger systems. Full 5G signal coverage. You only need to swipe your face during the whole process to be able to go smoothly. This project took only four years from planning to completion. Once again demonstrated to the world the strength of China's infrastructure. What a shock! Chinese bridges once again shocked the world. The bridge can actually be broken into two pieces, and it can be lifted and lowered freely, even cooler than the Transformers in science fiction movies. It is the Hyman Bridge located in Binhai New District, Tianjin. Its entire length is 2850 feet long, definitely the coolest reversing swing bridge in the world. Only saw it crossing the river smoothly just a second ago. The next second, it opened its arms like a giant. Such a stunning scene happens every day. This is designed by experts to make way for large ships. 5,000 ton seagoing ships can travel freely. Why not just build the bridge higher? That's because if an ordinary bridge wants ships of multiple sizes to pass, it is necessary to build the net height higher. But this would also cause the bridge to be lengthened. The cost also increased a lot. Therefore, after many considerations, the designer designed China's first reversing opening bridge. As an American, I have to say that China's infrastructure is really amazing. What do you think of it?